Welcome back to Game On, where we use sports and athletics to talk about everything related to mental health. So if you watch football and some other sports as well, you might notice a quarterback right before a play will take a look at, sometimes they have a, a cheat sheet, if you want to call it, where it has a uh, spark notes of maybe what to do in that play or how to respond to that defense. Or you might have a linebacker um, on the defense do the same thing. I've noticed it also sometimes with catchers in baseball who are really directing the pitcher and maybe there's other sports as well where they have this like snapshot of what the strategy is in a given game situation. And it made me think because when we're working on our mental health, I think of it as different layers or levels of how we're working on it. So there's the ongoing maintenance, self-care, what we're doing, everything that contributes to our well-being. That could be anything from nutrition, exercise, our work-life balance, sleep hygiene, who we're interacting with, with, all those kinds of things all contribute, but not one of them is like the reason for something going well or poorly. And then you have intentional planning of activities. Uh, that might be a certain hobby or what you do on the weekend or what you do every day in order to help keep us balanced and grounded. So it might be having dinner with certain people or cooking or doing some hobby, gardening, uh, how I spend my evenings, how I spend my weekends, things like that. And then there's the in the moment strategies, the skills of when I do have a difficult moment, a challenging, overwhelming, stressful moment, what do I do then? And the, the, the melding of those three is really what's important because the skills in the moment are certainly very valuable, but that's not going to address other things. The ongoing maintenance is great and important, but that's not necessarily going to address a really stressful moment. And then the intentional activities are great, but we can't necessarily rely on them because we won't always have the opportunity for them. Some of them take either more time or access, which maybe not all of us have. So if you think of it from a sports perspective, sure, the cheat sheet, if you want to call it that, is great for in the moment to skill like, okay, as a reminder, okay, they're in this package on defense, or they're lined up this way, they're showing blitz, this is what I know, and it's a reminder, but that's not how you prepare for the game. You prepare for the game by practicing, by watching game fill, by talking over strategies and practicing again and again and again, and with different looks, and same thing with a catcher in baseball. So you don't rely on either of them completely. Certainly that preparation is, is important and invaluable. And then you have the in the moment, in the game moment reminders, which are also really important. So I, I think it's valuable to think about that it's not all one thing. It's all, it's a big package that we prepare this way, we prepare this way, and we are prepared for in the moment. And the, the broader and more diverse preparation and tools we have access to both before and during, and maybe even after, then the better prepared we'll be to stay balanced and, uh, and calm. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.